Hey, how's it going? Well, Trump seems to be actually one of the first presidents in our lifetimes who is actually keeping his campaign promises. I may not be able to stand most of his positions on things, most of them, because there are some things that I do agree with him on, uh, particularly when it comes to trying to keep jobs here, when it comes to, you know, uh, some bit of protectionism. I think we need some of that right now. Because the type of globalism that was being pushed by people like Hillary was not anything that would benefit the people. It would just purely benefit the corporations. Now, Trump has his connections and has some has some corruption going on, and there's also some potential of uh, some lawsuits coming up against Trump for, you know, uh, doing things that violate the Constitution when it comes to uh, his his income, uh, you know, where he gets money, etc., uh, when it comes to uh, globally. But... Trump is pushing forth a more of a protectionist type of a mindset, and I think we've needed that for a while. But, you know, uh, TPP, he, he said no, hell no to TPP. He signed it and said nope, no to TPP. Uh, he did something weird. Uh, uh, well, I mean, it's been done before, but it's still kind of weird. Um doing a hiring freeze on all federal employees except for ones related to the military and except for things that would directly affect people's ability to live. Then he did Mexico City, and I think that's deplorable. Today he signed to uh, reinstate the, uh, uh, to start allowing for the pipeline again, a deplorable. Now, I mean, maybe he will... Uh, push forth that, yeah, well, uh, it needs to be re-examined, maybe uh, make it a little bit better for pe for people. There's a chance of that, but I doubt it. Tomorrow, or over the next week or so, he is supposed to be uh, signing something to give, uh, so federal money will go to building the wall in Mexico, it's just weird. Um, something that's concerning right now is how he seems to be threatening Chicago with martial law. He's saying, you guys better shape up. Your murder rate is too high. You need to do something about it or we're going to do something about it. And I'm hoping he doesn't have to do something about it. I'm hoping that Chicago uh, does do things to to help that situation. What is kind of funny about this, it's not really funny, funny, ha-ha funny, but, you know, kind of messed up funny. Chicago is one of the cities that has some of the most strict gun control uh, laws, and yet they have some of the highest rate of of shootings in the United States, you know, that kind of shows that gun control in the ways that people are trying to shove it forth, particularly uh, the way that a lot of liberals try to shove this forth, isn't working. It's doing the opposite. And when I was reading a lot of, excuse me, news articles about this, I was seeing people make comments and, and seeing links to tweets saying, well, you know, tr the reason why it's not working in Chicago is because it's not being done everywhere. Trump needs to to uh, enact gun control federally, and that will take care of the problem. No, no, it won't. Okay, if, it's, if we can blatantly see it's not working in Chicago, it's not going to just suddenly work if it gets enacted everywhere. That's, that's insanity. You can see that something doesn't work. That doesn't mean that it's time to double down on it, okay? It doesn't work. Here in the United States, we have an extreme gun culture. It's almost religious in nature, okay? It is part of our culture. You're not going to change, you're not going to be able to change the laws in that way unless you somehow change the culture. And I don't see anything coming into place that's going to change the culture. 
If something works in Europe, fine, it works in Europe. Europe doesn't have our culture. They don't have our gun culture. They don't, they're, they're, not, they're not gun crazy in Europe like they are here. Oh, but it, it's working in, in Australia. Australia isn't the United States. Okay? Gun control, beyond the things that are already uh, done pretty much across the U.S., that are already being done, gun control beyond that level is unreasonable. You know, you may want to stop violence that is done with guns. You don't do that with gun regulations, not in this country. Other methods have to be used. Just flat out. So I, I it's it is it, it I will say it is laughable that some people will say, oh, let's just do it federally and that'll take care of it. No, no, it won't. It won't take care of it. Um, anyway, I'm hoping that some of the, the good things that Trump has said, I'm hoping that those things end up being campaign promises that uh, he keeps. Like, I'm hoping he doesn't touch Social Security and Medicare. I'm hoping he doesn't let those things lapse. I'm hoping he doesn't shove forth that those things should be privatized. I'm sure that the a lot of people in the Republican Party are going to try to get him to do that, but, you know, to, to mess those things up. But I'm hoping he sticks to his guns on this. I'm hoping he's willing to uh, stick it to the Republicans just as much as he sticks it to the Democrats. Um... I'm hoping. I am pretty impressed, though, I gotta say, with his ability to just <laughs> shove forth the things that he shoved, he, he actually promised in his campaign. Um, we are so used to do-nothing presidents. We are. We are used to presidents who just won't really do the things they said they would. And... You know, if nothing else, if these with these next four years, if we survive it, um, it will show us that hey, yeah, our president can do a lot of things. Our president can make a big difference. Um, a president can go through with his campaign promises. You know, maybe this could be something like let's say if Bernie's still around and kicking and things are okay with him in in twenty twenty. Maybe Bernie will, you know, have a chance again, and he will know that, hey, you know, Trump was able to push forth all of these things, even though the rest of the government may have said, no, 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 we, we can't do that. No, he just signed some executive orders, and there we go. That might give Bernie Sanders the idea that, hey, you know, some of these ideas that I shove forth are not very popular, but uh, I'm going to shove them forth anyway because I'm the president. You know, maybe it can give him that kind of idea. So that way, all the people trying to claim that, uh, well, no, he'd never be able to implement those things, will shut up and say, well, yeah, they he can implement those things because we know what kind of power the president has. <laughs>